matches during this time period, so me and a bunch of teammates and friends partied at my apartment last night. But now all that is done, people get back to living their lives until the next holiday season comes and reminds them to be less dicks with one another. Now everybody's talking about, what's your new year's resolution? What's the one thing you're maybe gonna finally do this year? Maybe you're gonna finally talk to your boss about that promotion. Maybe you're gonna finally get in shape. Or maybe you're gonna finally ask that pretty girl out for a date. My resolution? I wanna finish the season as the MLS top scorer and transfer to a good club afterwards. Now I'm not expecting this because of some newfound belief in myself that the new year has brought. I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way, through hard work. So guys, as we head into this first match against Real Salt Lake, if you remember last episode, which was literally last year, I had finally earned my 4 star skill moves and I was just really really pumped to be able to try them out. Obviously it would, it would help a lot in making space and it just it's just fun, okay? But as I was about to learn uh, skill moves, because I'm playing on world class, um, a lot of the skill moves that would be otherwise really effective like online against real people or whatever, they're just not effective at all against the computer because the AI is so intelligent on this difficulty that it just predicts uh, where you're gonna go and uh, a lot of them are just voided, a lot of skill moves are just voided this way. But however, having said that, there are some, uh, there are a few ones that really are very effective, like every single time pretty much are very effective against the computer at uh, a high, higher difficulty. And uh, But we'll get into those as these episodes progress, as I learn how to actually um, really use my 4 star skill moves. So, as you see, we are pretty much dominating in this match against Real Salt Lake. I'm getting quite a few shots in, and I'm only really showing you highlights of my own player and uh, the opposition if they actually score. I do get through there, but uh, they overpower me because I do have like se over 70 strength, but I just, I'm not that high, I'm not, uh, I'm not that high. <laughs> I don't have an impressive height on me is what I was trying to say, I'm not very tall, so uh, strength in this game really really uh, goes well with height, but um, we do go nil nil at half time, this match was definitely going to be ours though, we were just uh, doing uh, very well in it, um, that's why I need the skill moves really because of my lack of strength, uh, because of my height, and I do get a shot there, it was blocked, a lot of my shot get, shots get blocked because of... Uh, I mean on world class because of the intelligence that the uh, computer has. The one way to defend though even on higher difficulties is as you've seen right there pressure, a lot of pressure. Uh, a teammate needs to be applying pressure to the one on the ball and you just need to be marking so they have no passing options. I've said this last year as well because it really worked as well and I do get a first goal in the match there. Beautiful stuff. I try to some skill moves there, I actually fail and then try to chip it inside the area. Well, there's a little elevation and uh, not that much uh, power behind it as well. I do pass it there first time to my teammate on the wing and he puts it in uh, on the first time as well, I think. Uh, he puts it in to make it 2-0 and get me an assist and as well a vision accomplishment. And um, it's actually fun. I used to hate the virtual pro accomplishments way to build your player. I'm actually really liking them this year. Um, I don't know why. It's not, Nothing really changed, but I just like them. I do get the ball there. And I go for the shot from outside the box, straight in the keeper, but there's enough power on it to, for him to parry it. And from the corner, something uncharacteristic happens. I actually get my head uh, on the ball. And as I've said, because I'm not very tall and my heading st stats aren't very good, uh, that was actually a pretty big deal for me to just get my head on the ball from the corner. I was on mark though, so uh, fair enough. 9.3 match rating, 1 goal, 1 assist, and uh, the man of the match goes without saying. Second match is against White Caps FC. We are playing away, uh, but that means nothing to us because we are pretty much uh, very effective. I'm I'm actually doing quite well. I think I'm still the pre I'm actually well above uh, everybody else in the top scorer uh, list. So I'm doing. If I continue this way, it's actually going to be a very good year, very good season for me. And as we see there, we pressure. I do get a finesse shot from outside the box, and it's actually very surprising that it wasn't very far wide. If you know me, if you've been watching the series, you know that my finesse shots are just awful because uh, of my curve stats being very low, but some bullshit defending then there as you see, as you know in FIFA, not just this year, but pretty much every FIFA in the last few years, and uh, they do get one goal in front. But I was talking about maybe, I mean hopefully my finesse shots uh, go very well from now on, because I do need to score quite a few of them to get my curve stats uh, higher and uh, pretty much uh, just uh, the finesse shot trait which is really OP this year but the referee told somebody to calm down it wasn't the player right in front of him it was me because I just went beast mode on that player and I was quite lucky to get away without a yellow card 
I think Shot Stop, which is one of the skill moves that are really, really effective no matter what difficulty you're playing on, even online. Look at this beautiful counter attack here. The through ball finds me. I step inside. I take the shot. Goalkeeper is beaten, but I hit the post, unfortunately. So we do go in 1 0 down at halftime. We, we're trying to get one back, even if it's an away game. Uh, a draw would be just fine, and a goal for me would be awesome, as usual. So we start the first half very strong, Kido, with an over-the-top through ball for me. I do get a little lucky there, and I take the shot from a very weird angle there, just because I didn't want to risk uh, trying to cut inside and losing possession for my team. I step inside again here, I take the shot blocked as usual, as I told you, it happens so many times. Uh, I get the ball here again, I fake shot stop, I make some space for myself outside of the boot, really, really nice shot. Those shots are amazing this year. Especially if you target them at the top uh, corner and especially if they go in, obviously. But unfortunately, the match does end at 1-0 for us. Uh, my rating, I don't know why it was so low because I was the one hard worker of the team that was really trying to get us back in the game. But um, you know how FIFA is sometimes with ratings. Sometimes they just don't uh, represent your performance. However, that's been this episode, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, you always ask for the series to come back. So here it is. I'm trying to be consistent again. And uh, leave a like to show me that you actually want more. I've been Chait. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.